we come to order, we have to wipe this whole thing. Council Bonin, Perkins Augusti. Here. Council Weston. Here. Council Jackson. Here. Council Grover. Here. Council Keenan. Here. Council Spinner. Here. Council Goldman. Here. Council Manhattan. Here. President Gonzalez. I mean, President Perkins. President Perkins Goldman. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. 
New Jersey, and attained national and or international recognition in the field of athletics. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the City Council of the City of Missouri extend his thanks and congratulations to Edward Jackson for his commitment and public service to the City of Missouri throughout the years, and be further resolved that a certified copy of his resolution is spread in full upon the minutes of City Council and a certified copy be presented to Edward Jackson. Signed by Yolanda Roberts, Municipal um, Court of the City of Elizabeth. Okay.
But in the end, you were on the right side. God bless you. I love you. My family love you. And we wish you and your family all the best that God has to offer you. God bless you. Cassie, just hold one minute. Anyone else want to be injured? I want to say anything. Anyone else? My colleague want to say anything? I, uh, I was the library director in 1993 when the team came on my board, and uh, Councilman uh, Jack was, uh, introduced himself to me very early at that time. He, he was a very strong proponent of the library and was very interested not only in the library itself, but also the education of uh, uh, young children. So he impressed me a lot, and we've actually been friends uh, since that time. So I want to wish you, first of all, uh, congratulations on 20 years of much success on Council. But God's be in your future endeavors. Congratulations.
keep up with what you want to do, and I know you will be successful no matter what you're trying to decide. Congratulations, you're going to make you tremendous. For all of the 
outstanding support that you have shown me through the last 20 years. I will never forget you. Thank you so very much. God bless Elizabeth, New Jersey, which I love very dearly. Thank you so much.
Thank you so very much. 
much for your past support. However, these are extremely trying times for all our chapter programs, even successful ones like ours. And we are constrained to seek your assistance once again. Without any exaggeration, Jefferson Park is at risk of losing its programs because our families cannot meet the new imposed eligibility requirements for wraparound services by the state of New Jersey Department of Human Services. Wraparound service is a before and after care program. It's subsidized and it's for our preschoolers and their families. The laws of our wraparound program face two serious problems. First, the vast majority of our constituent families have lost a vital child care service which expands the basic six-hour program to 10 hours. And obvious help to work in campus, particularly those who travel a significant, significant distance to their jobs. Second, the loss of those wraparound revenues to Jefferson Park has created a tremendous financial loss. You have, you have five, a minute and a minute, five minutes to come. Excuse me, I don't understand. Okay, wrapping it up now. The wrap around thing is, the wrap around funds are particularly beneficial as they are discretionary funds. Prior to the revision of these guidelines by DHS, Jefferson Park was able to utilize these funds to pay our share of the indirect cost as required by DOE. Without these funds each year, we experience a budget shortfall which increases with each succeeding contract we sign. We are, at this point, humbly requesting the support of the City of Elizabeth through a meeting with the appropriate Council Committee for further in-depth discussion. With that, I'd like to ask the Council's permission to hear other testimonies regarding this You have information to pass up to the sequence. You might bring on it. Yeah.
for almost 40 years now, and uh, we have seen how what's how it improves, and I know I've been an integral part of that. Uh, as an educator myself, I know how important schools are for the future of any city, the state, and the country. And it saddens me to know and to really find out that a few individuals in the past month uh, were found to be caught uh, helping students or actually allowing students or making students really cheating. I guess they were, there was a cheating scandal in uh, school 20. And I was just appalled because I know the children here in, uh, in our city already have many obstacles that they have to work with and have to uh, achieve more maybe another issue. And it just appalls me to see that some individuals will teach our students that cheating is acceptable and also part of the culture. So I know we're losing you know, a, uh, a great educator and a great legislator. And uh, it's just uh, it's something that's added. And I hope that you know, whoever comes in, I know uh, Councilman Grover will be the Councilman at large, but when we get another council person, Follow your footsteps and improve the city. Thank you. Thank you. Please state your name and then for the record, please. Thank you. 
for all of your actions. Uh, I don't know uh, Council and Jack has had an opportunity, but from anyone who heard the, um, the thought that was given to you this evening, and we know that you are also having a significant figure here, and I congratulate you on your retirement and wish you the best in the future. My second purpose of being here is this. I am um, a law firm volunteers, uh, legal services, and I am a counsel for Jefferson Park, and, and again, I volunteer my legal services for them. And I just wanted to just point out one thing. As we all know, we just finished a very important election for president. And President Barack Obama highlighted, highlighted through his campaign the, the quandary which this country has. And the need to spend money in a difficult economy but to make the proper investments that we need to make to make sure that we remain the number one country which we always have been and seek to always be. And I just would like to remind everyone in this season that there's no greater investment that we need to make than in our children. And that's what Jefferson Park, in the brief time I've been working with them, has been a beacon of hope in this community for over 40 years. And so I would hope that this council hears, and I know that you hear their concerns, and I hope that you will give them whatever new deliberation you can to assist in their effort. Thank you. Thank you.
My name is Chessie Roberts, and I, I was born in Elizabeth, and I am now 86 years old. Oh, God bless you. to make 
make sure that this organization is well and it is functioning to the level in which it needs to be functioning to. And prayerfully, with all of us working together, we will find the funds um, to do what is necessary. So I just wanted to go on record and say that I would, be, um, I would like to make myself available um, to be a part of that committee, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman. Yeah, Councilman McKinnon. I, I agree. I would also like to be part of that, uh, that committee. Uh, and I would also specifically say that if we can direct uh, the Director of Policy Planning, Bill Reyes, to perhaps communicate with the county to see if there's anything that can be done on the eligibility requirements for, uh, for the parents. Uh, maybe, I don't know whether there's any possibility of doing that, but it's something that needs to be pursued and at least have the city and the county uh, advising Trenton that they're cutting, they're cutting parents out, they're cutting children out, maybe there's some resolution to that piece as well. But this is, the Jefferson Park Daycare is an institution going back many, many years. Uh, I won't tell you how many missiles out there. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but we need more uh, daycare centers like this, not less, and none of them in the city of Lisbon should be threatened by lack of funding. So let's see what we can do. Thank you very much. Thank you, Councilman. I'm going to go on the Also, I want to be part of that committee also. And yeah. uh, yeah. so, the same thing I was kind of thinking about. We need to see we can address the policy plan and also we need to see the list also. We need to reach out to the county and make sure that they were on the So, uh, to the Jefferson Park Minister, just give us a little time. Uh, and we'll uh, see what we can um, come up with, okay? Thank you. 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 For city council members, the mayor, and the department director. Just give us, if those that want to leave, you can, if not, if you want to stay. Those that want to stay, you can, if those that want to leave, you can just leave.
approaching permit to Sovereign Consulting Inc. Robinsville, New Jersey, to install two groundwater monitoring wells along the public right of way within the side walk adjacent to 
Design Consulting Inc. Robinsville, New Jersey, to install two ground water monitoring wells along the public right of way within the sidewalk adjacent to 1089 1099 Elizabeth Avenue. The other reading of the board now is the Move next second to comments. Roll call. Councilwoman Perkins Dusty. Aye. Councilman Weston. Aye. Councilman Jackis. Aye. Councilman Rotham. Aye. Councilman Keenan. Aye. Councilman Stenium. Aye. Councilman Mazza. Aye. President Pro Tem Bowman. Aye. On the eyes. Point of excellent progress. Do business.
You have to read the resolution. We have pleasure. Move the resolution for the office president. Move the next second and five minutes. Roll call. Councilwoman Perkins Dusty. Aye. Councilman Weston. Aye. Councilman Gattis. Aye. Councilman Rowland. Aye. Councilman Keenan. Aye. Councilman Savannah. Aye. Councilman Mazza. Aye. President Pro Tem Hall. Aye, guys. On resolution next. What rights of our city officials to apply for a waiver from the Federal Communications Commission of its narrow banding mandate? What rights of our city officials to enter into an intergovernmental agreement with the Elizabeth Parking Authority to allow for sharing of a portable data terminal for a five year period commencing on the date of execution and cost to the city? What rights of our city officials to accept and use the forfeiture funds to purchase nine 2013 Dodge Avengers, Avengers for the Police Department, Detective Bureau, in the amount of $165,000. Authorizing the order of contract to the law firm, Goldenberg, Mackler, Say, Vince, Beffer, Bonchi, and Gill for representation on in-rim tax foreclosures for the period November 27, 2012 through November 27, 2013. Rate of $500 per tax sales certificate plus costs not to exceed $50,000 and contested foreclosures will be billed at $150 per hour plus costs. Authorizing the order of contract of visiting nurse and health services in Elizabeth to administer senior health promotion risk reduction services for the period July 1, 2012 through June 30, 2013 at a cost not to exceed $11,000. Authorize the award of a contract to visiting nurse and health services Elizabeth to administer health educator services for the period July 1, 2012 through June 30, 2013 at a cost not to exceed $10,395 unless further authorized by City Council. Authorize the award of a contract to Pedro Beckert, MD, Elizabeth for pediatric physician services for the periods of number 1, 2012 to December 31st, 2013, and it was not to exceed fifty thousand dollars unless we are authorized by city council. You have to read the resolution. Where's your budget? Move the resolution for the vote. Move the second comments. Roll call. Councilwoman Perkins Dusty. Aye. Councilman Weston. Aye. Councilman Jackis. Aye. Councilman Rolla. Aye. Councilman Keenan. Aye. Councilman Savannah. Aye. Authorize the award of contract to Maria Trevino, MD, Union, for sexually transmitted disease services for the period September 1, 2012, December 31, 2013, not to exceed $50,000 unless further authorized by City Council. Authorize the award of contract to the Birds All Services Group, Cranford, New Jersey, to provide professional civil engineering and environmental engineering on all services. At a cost not to exceed fifty-five thousand dollars plus reimbursable. Establish liens for the removal and disposal of debris on properties listed on Schedule A on file in the City Clerk's Office in the total amount of eleven thousand ten dollars sixty-two cents. Establish handicap parking space in front of the premises located at two forty-three Fulton Street. Authorize settlement in the workers' compensation litigation matter of Costello versus. City of Elizabeth in the total amount of $15,900 and authorized settlement in the workers' compensation litigation matter of Mayor versus the City of Elizabeth in the total amount of $16,695 paid until we bill. You have to read the resolution. Wait, pleasure. Move the resolution for all those present. Move that. Second, any comments? Mr. President, yes. Uh, I just have a question for you. This has to do with Norton's on the final passage of the number 4348. And when it came across, I thought I had to do with the state health benefits plan and notice the salary adjustments. Um, am I able to change my vote for that? Because, it, you know, I, I know it was read, but when pretty much when it came to the time of voting, I was under the impression it was the state health benefits. Plan, um, not the salary 